What's up guys, Man on the Moon here with another video. Today I'm going to be going over my old school team, my old school arena attack team. Um, I'm going to go over the team itself, the mods, the weapons, and I mean the strategy is pretty self-explanatory once you see it. Um, it's going to be a compilation since old school is endurance today i figured i would show not only what like my main attack team would be but my strategy as far as how i progress later on once more tunes get exhausted so that's what i'm going to be doing today uh but before we get to that don't forget to like and subscribe for more content now we're going to get into okay, it okay so this right here is my main attack team for old school when it's domination and i can just keep using the same team over and over again limited edition negan victor sean brianna maggie it's a turn one team i, I normally win turn one every time um mods for negan are actually didn't realize that wasn't max. Oh, there's a couple of them that aren't maxed. I just went really basic with Negan. I don't particularly care what his mods are, to be honest with you. He's just there because he has uh, 30 attack and very large bonus AP when attacking to all melee. Victor, I gave a stun resist. Uh, what is that? Attack first alert. A nice burn on attack mod and then an HP mod on an at on attack set. He's got 8% uh, weapon, 38 attack, very large AP. Um, with three 8% weapons, you only you don't actually need huge on uh, the leader skill or the weapon for him, which is nice because, well, if I needed huge, I'd be in a bit of trouble, to be honest with you. Sean, I'm actually lucky. Um... <clears throat> When the Alice, Sean, Diego meta was going, uh, I didn't have Alice or Diego. And since Sean was 85 AP, I just I didn't have an AP leader to go with him. I, I knew 85 was just too slow, so I never bothered wasting my medals. And now he is... He, he's probably the best hitter for old school arenas in general, in my opinion. He's so powerful. Um, mods, stun resist, attack first, uh, alert, a burn mod, and an attack on attack. It's not a very good one, but... Okay, so for Brianna, again, pretty basic, just defense set, stun resist, defense first strong, HP mod, and AP down. Um, to be honest, a lot of the mods really don't matter on these teams. Like, the mods that really matter are going to be uh, Sean and Victor, because they're really the only ones that ever attack. Um, so Maggie, I went attack set, attack mod, attack versus tough, confuse resist, and another burn mod. I just kind of went burn mods all around, just just because. I don't even know why, to be honest with you. Uh, it just seemed like a good idea at the time. As far as the weapons go, it's just your basic 40 attack stun sword on him. And then Victor has an 8% weapon with 38% attack. Brianna, she has an 8% weapon with 30% defense. And then Maggie, 8% weapon with 30 crit. Um... And with that, I can, you know, attack with Victor, command him, attack with Sean, command him, rush Victor, rush Sean. And most times, that really is just turn one, turn one over. So, at this point, I now wanted to show people what I do for endurance, old school. Since you are losing uh, two tunes every single entry, I stock up on what I use the most. Um... In this case, I've got my Sean, which unfortunately I do only have the one of. But then for leaders, I've got 
dual katana Michonne because she has a uh, very large AP when attacking and 20% attack to all melee. New Beginning Jesus, Samurai Jesus, um, he's a 30, 30 very large melee leader and I have two of him. Survival Road Zeke, uh, in a pinch I'll use him if I just need, because you need the AP more than the attack boost. Um, so like in the last ditch effort, if I get, you know, just in trouble with my having a bunch of exhausted leaders, I will switch to him. But that takes a while, because as you'll see here, I've got three limited edition Negans as well. So that's a total of seven leaders that I just keep keep stocked up so that way when they get exhausted when you know when I'm going through and they start getting exhausted I can just swap them out immediately for just a, a replacement you know either the exact same tune or a tune that does the exact same thing that that one did I also have two of the command maggies since you can't bring any you know you can only bring one of any character in old school um, I've got two Briannas, and then when necessary, I use Rosita's. I know a lot of people wouldn't want to use them just because they're three stars, but if it works properly, they don't ever have to do anything other than command once. And it doesn't matter if it's a three star or an S class, the command is still going to command. And then lastly, I have my Victors. Um, instead of putting them into teams like I just did the other ones, I decided to just show them to you from my roster. Mainly because I have, what's that, seven of them right there, and then I have the one that's in the team up, up here. So, that is eight victors all together that I have. Um, and as you'll see, my main strategy is to try and let my victors and my leaders get exhausted that's that's the goal like if i could have one of either my leader my leader and victor get exhausted every time i'd be good because i just have so many of them okay so personally i always start out if i'm actually trying to go in on an endurance arena like i plan on today um i always start out with the times three entry just because really i think mean, it's just always i've always felt like uh I've only, I only get to use my full team once. The one that I have that's completely modded out and completely, you know, it's, it's the team. I can only use it once. So I feel like I get, you know, do a times three on it that first go. Make sure I do it properly. So as you can see here, I've only really got one tough team and that's right there in the middle. Odin's Wrath. Big shout out to my boy because uh, that's actually one of my faction mates. Um, but we're just going to go through and we're going to do the attacks the same way every single time. And more often than not, it, do it, it does just turn one work. Okay, so I got the AP I need to start. Do we have... Alright, so there's the window. Attack, command. Attack, command. And it's done. And that's how it works most times. Alright, again, check for the window. And there it is. Turn one win. Splash, okay. And there it goes. It's quite a bit easier with attack leaders, I will admit, just because, well, I mean, it's not a defense leader. As good as Alice might be, she is still an attack tune. Alright, once again, check for, check for the window, oh, there it is. And, turn one GG. Since I know that Gov, 
has an 8% weapon. I don't even have to check. I know he's a window. Alright, turn one. So that's the first the first entry with my main team. And I won all of them turn one. So in this scenario, I get to keep one. And I'm going to... I'll keep Brianna out of that. Okay, so I'm in seventh after my first run through. I decided instead of doing the times ones, I'm going to actually just go through and do another times three entry. And here, as you'll see, I'm going to just name and go to one of the victors. And then with this one, I need... Maggie. Actually, I'll just use Rosita because, well, because she's there. And as you'll see, the, it doesn't really matter. Um, it doesn't really matter which command I'm using because as long as things go right, I, you know, I don't need her to ever take a hit or deal any damage. She just needs to be able to command that. Okay, so I do know that Sawyer's got that stun on attack, so I know that's a window. Oof, did a good bit of damage. Alright, turn one, and as you saw there, it doesn't matter if Rosie does a three-star, because all she does is command once, and she, you know, did her job. Alright, they got some nice AP going here. Oh, it's an attack team, okay. Go for that. Hopefully I can get Tenacity to trigger. Yep, okay. There we go. Alright, so there again, check for windows. We got one right there. Victor. Sean. And it's it's super quick. I will say that. That's it's probably one of the reasons why I like old school so much is just because I can do a lot of entries very quickly. Alright. Got Gov there with his eight percent window. And kaboom. And very rarely will I find a team that's so tanky that I can't take it out first turn. Alright, and in this scenario, I don't really have much of a choice. I gotta keep the Sean. Um, because he's the workhorse. He's the one that does all the damage. But luckily, I've got, what, like six more victors I can use. And, I mean, it's a three-star Rosita I'm losing. So, no big deal. Alright, so I'm on to another entry, guys, and as you saw in the last one, all I'm really trying to do here is replace the victor and one of the commands, which is easy enough. I'm actually going to use Maggie this time, though, because I'm pretty sure all the other Rosetas are Tier 1, Level 1, and that just seems risky. Alright, so here I am back to what is essentially my original team. I'm on my third Victor now, my second Maggie, but the team is still the same and the strategy is still the same, and that's what's important, in my opinion, which is why I collect so many dupes of these specific characters is because I just don't want to have to look around and try and say, okay, who can I substitute Victor for? Who can I substitute this for? I just want to keep using the same team over and over. And if that means I have to have five of one, you know, five of the same tune, so be it. All right, so in this batch, got a couple okay-looking teams that could potentially give me some problems, but we'll see. Is that an impair knife? Yep. All right, so there's my window. Finish it off, turn one. Alright. I want you guys to keep in mind that this is my third entry, and I'm still just turn one all of this. Alright, so here's the super tanky team that could potentially 
screw me up because there's quite a bit of tank in this team. Oof. Wow. Okay. Um. Well, and this is what happens when you don't get the turn one, unfortunately. And that is that, uh, more often than not, you're pretty, you're in trouble. We'll just say that. You're in trouble until, just, I, I'm, because I'm not, there's no coming back from the fact that it's a turn four win at this point, if I win now. Alright, so that was a turn 5 win, unfortunately, but luckily in Endurance, it's a little... It, it, it doesn't affect you as harshly to have the occasional, I didn't turn 1, it, you know? Like, I can afford to say, okay, well, that was turn 5, but in the scope of 20 tickets, it just doesn't hurt you that much. Alright, what do we got here? Pair, stun, stun, stun. Okay, so we got a windowless team. Hope and pray. Alright, we resisted the stun. And keep on moving with another turn one win. Alright, so here, obvious window is Rocket Abe. So, same as always, just go in. Debuff. And wipe. Alright, once again, go for the gov. And turn one wipe. Okay, so in this scenario, I've already lost one Maggie and one Rosita. So, I'm actually going to keep the Maggie... That way I'll still have one Maggie, one Brianna, and then a couple Rosita's left, and I've still got plenty of leaders, so that's not an issue. Okay, so at this point I am in third, as you can see over there. I've got about 990k, and first is sitting at one or at 2.1 mil, and second sitting just over 2 mil. So far I've used about 8 tickets. Um, if I'm going to try and take first, I'm probably going to, I'm going to do another times three entry. Okay, so now this time I have to replace the leader in the command. However, I think I'm going to just replace it with Jesus instead of Negan, mainly just because it's right there. By doing it this way, it's right there, and... It just makes it easier. There's Brianna. Give her the 8%. And I just realized I should change my preset team for my main. Because I still got that Negan holding just the regular 40% attack and stun instead of the healing stun. Go up against this first team. See if it's windowless. It is indeed not. And kablooey. Turn one. All right. Okay, so there's the uh, window. And turn one. Got lucky on that one. Let's try this one again. Hopefully we get lucky here. That's unfortunate, I will admit. Full team taunt is rough. Cleanse anybody that has any sort of anything.
That is one tanky machine, I'll tell you. So as you saw right there, if it doesn't win turn one, it really is like turn five more often than not. That is the downfall of turn one teams, is you better win turn one. Alright, we got us a Rampage weapon. I'm not dealing with that, thank you very much. Don't want to deal with any of that really. Luckily I don't have to. Okay guys, that was my old school arena attack team. I went over the team itself, the mods, the weapons, and also the strategy behind keeping dupes of your key characters. So that way when it comes to exhaustion, you can just say, okay, well, like in my, my case, if I can choose my leader or a victor, I want them exhausted every time if possible. So... Hopefully it gave you some ideas, gave you just a bit of a point of view into some different strategies that you can use to just get the most out of all your characters in an endurance arena. Um, I hope this helped you. Let me know down in the comments below if you have any questions or any thoughts about the team itself. And remember, guys, it is a game, so try and have fun. This is going to be your friendly neighborhood man on the moon, signing off. Later, guys.